St. Francis Seraph Church is in the heart of Over the Rhine. For eight years, it opened its doors to the homeless, but change is coming. What was behind the decision to close the doors? Well, the biggest thing was the cost of security. It was near $10,000 a month to have two security guards eight hours a day. The church locked its doors to the homeless last month, hoping to reduce the large crowds that gather out front. The crowd can be anywhere from 10 to 20 individuals to maybe a, a, a hundred at times. The church is at the center of a neighborhood dispute about whether it is helping or hurting this fragile area. And it's not just the crowds. The Franciscan province is selling a portion of the church, its friary, to the nonprofit Tender Mercies to create a housing project for the homeless and mentally ill. The CEO of Tender Mercies, which is developing the housing project, would not go on camera. In a statement, he says in part, affordable housing developments have helped neighborhood revitalization. This project will give residents rapid access to the resources needed to rebuild their lives. Many residents oppose this plan because this friary is a block away from one of the city's worst open air drug markets so bad that police plan to barricade the street starting next month. They want to change the priest apartments into 41 uh, units for the chronic homeless addicts with no uh, requirement to get sober. But that's not how John Donaldson sees it. He's lived here for 25 years and says it's a drug infested area. I think that is a recipe for disaster. He agrees with the Over the Rhine Community Council's Board of Trustees, who voted two weeks ago to oppose the Friary Project, calling its $21 million cost an inappropriate use of public money and a risk to the entire community, which is already struggling with homelessness, blight and crime. I'm just not sure putting really challenged um, uh, people trying to recover from drugs or deal with mental illness, this may not be the right environment for them. Property owner and developer Chris Brucken worries about its impact on nearby St. Francis Elementary School. This neighborhood can't, right next to a school, cannot support a more concentration of, of needy people. Many want the friary sold for market rate housing to spur development and fill storefronts and say a project like this would never be tolerated in the suburbs. There's a reason why they're concentrating all of that there. They're not gonna piss off white voters in white neighborhoods. Noah O'Brien is one of 10 West End advocates who filed a complaint against the city last month with the Department of Housing and Urban Development, accusing Cincinnati leaders of using federal money to cram low-income housing into the poorest black neighborhoods instead of spreading it out as the Fair Housing Act requires. Do you see similarities between what is happening in the West End and what is happening north of Liberty and over the Rhine? Absolutely. I mean, and you can look at Tender Mercies with their failed model. The city is giving conditional support to the Friary Project and will contribute $1.1 million in federal home money if the project gets the state tax credits it applied for. And that decision will come in May. In the meantime, Father Al disputes what the community council says is best for the neighborhood. I don't know how much weight their opinion ways with the city and such, but um, uh, I don't share the same uh, fear of tender mercies providing good housing for people.